Hi everyone, it's Tuesday and I've just got home from work and I hate to start the week off on a negative Nelly note but I am so poorly. <laughs> um, I don't really know what happened between today and yesterday but I woke up feeling like an elephant has stamped on my head and I went into work, in hindsight potentially shouldn't have done but I have a feeling that this might get worse before it gets better so, you know, I went in. Um, and really struggled <laughs> through the morning today. Um, I just have like a pounding headache. It's not like a migraine though, it's just a headache. Um, my whole body hurts, like my shoulders, my back, my legs, everything. And I just don't feel right at all. So it could be a combination of doing my injection yesterday and starting a new medication at the same time. That is what I was told to do, so I went ahead and did it, but um, it might be that, um, or it might just be a bug because obviously I work in a school so that wouldn't be uncommon um i was going to come home and have a bubble bath to try and like ease all these aches and pains but honestly i don't think i have the energy to even run the bath and sit in it um, and keep myself afloat so um i'm just gonna have a lay down on the sofa i think i want to go to bed but if i go to bed the dogs will have to go away because winnie can't be trusted she'll just pee on everything um so it's not fair on them to go upstairs so um, I'm just going to lay here on the sofa, try and have a little nap and see how I feel. On a positive note, we have been looking at more wedding venues. If you watched last week's vlog, you'll have seen that we um, had to turn down our like dream wedding venue because we just didn't want to pay their prices for catering. Um, but we found some more since then and we're really excited about them and we're going to go and view some of them this weekend. So that's fun. So that's a positive thing. We found some more venues that we like, but... Yeah, I feel very ill, so I'm gonna have a little nap. Hi guys, sorry to be vlogging here in the exact same spot that I spoke to you yesterday. Um, I just wanted to hop on, it's Wednesday morning and thankfully I feel a lot better this morning. Um, still got aches and pains and my head is still pounding, but I feel loads better than I did yesterday, so that's good because I can't afford to lose another day of work. Um, yeah. I can't really, <laughs> I've totally forgotten what I actually came on here to say, but yeah, I just need to crack on with a lot of work later because I obviously lost yesterday. I really do feel like achy everywhere, like my back and my shoulders, my neck, everything just hurts and I don't really know why. Um, so I'm hoping that it, it passes, but it is frustrating. Um, but yeah, I'll be fine and I'll see you later. Look at these crazies. But come to my mum's house. She's on her way home from a little coffee date with my nan, who I also haven't seen in a couple of weeks um, since my birthday, I think. So I've popped round to my mum's house. I'm waiting for them to get home. So I've just let all their dogs out and they're crazy. This is Maggie, for anyone who doesn't know. She's an English from a spaniel and she's mad as a box of frogs. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is Mabel. Also mad as a box of frogs, as you can see. <laughs> Mabel, stop it. <laughs> Why are you following me? So one of my brother's ducks decided to hide some eggs a little while ago. And um, they ended up having one duckling hatch. And um, it's making such cute little cheeping noises, but I don't know if you can hear it because there's like hedge cutters now. And I can't show you the duckling because it just runs away, but I do like sitting in my parents' garden. You know when your dog is eating something and you're just like, oh god, what is it? Look how cute as well. Emma Bridgewater on the windowsill. Cute. So my day ended up changing a little bit. I'm now in my brother's uni flat and it is bringing back so many memories of when I lived at uni. Um, I'll show you the kitchen because it's cute. There's this table. And this is the kitchen. It's actually pretty nice. And then if you go out here, there's the hallway. These are all the rooms, but no one else lives here yet. And that's his room. 
Hello everyone, I am sorry this vlog has been so boring. It's the last week before my dissertation is due. Well, it's not actually, I do still have another like week and a half-ish. Um, but I am hoping to have my dissertation handed in on this day next week. I've been busy trying to get that done. Uh, but it is Friday morning, I've just got my protein shake. I try and start each day with a protein shake purely because I don't eat enough protein. Um, not because I'm going to the gym at the moment, because I'm absolutely not. I cannot wait until this dissertation's done and I can do all of those things again without feeling guilty that I'm not working. Um, but I haven't felt very well this week. I feel better than I did at the beginning of the week, but I still don't feel right at all. And it's not ideal, to be honest. I keep hoping that it's gonna go away, but at the moment, it's not really. Um, I feel really, really sick this morning, which is why I'm drinking my protein shake at home rather than at work, because if I don't stop feeling so nauseous, I'm not sure I'll make it into work. <laughs> um, although I have to, because my teacher needs my help. Um, so I need to get myself together. So I got ready a little bit earlier this morning and made my protein shake at home instead of at work, but I'm just not feeling good, you guys. And I'm sorry this has been a boring vlog. I might put the next week together with this one so that it's um, a little bit more interesting for you and maybe you can see me actually handing in my dissertation and stuff. We are going to look at some more wedding venues tomorrow and then on Sunday I am going to a wedding fair with my mum and my nan, so I'll take you along. Um, I know I'm being a wedding bore, I'm sorry. It's like the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me and it's a really big part of my life and I've waited for six years <laughs> to be engaged so I am sorry it's a little bit boring but what can I say anyway I'm gonna go because I feel like I am actually not well <laughs> um and I will see you in a bit, hopefully feeling better. So I thought for this part of the vlog, I would do a little voiceover quickly. Um, this was venue number one of the weekend, and it was somewhere that I was fully prepared to fall in love with. As you can see from the inside, it was a barn venue, and that is exactly what I wanted. Um, here's the lady showing us the grounds. And you could also get married outside as well, and that was something that Will was really interested in. So you walk up this hill, and then you can get married here in this little copse of trees in the woods. And it was really beautiful. I thought I would fall in love with it, but it wasn't quite right. It was a working farm and you could definitely tell it was a working farm and it wasn't quite right for us. So we moved on to venue number two. We are at venue number two of the day and I love it already. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Even just driving through is really nice. Pretty. Look how pretty. I actually genuinely really like these chairs. Yeah, no, they're like quite old and rustic looking. This is all the look we want, isn't it? Yeah. I just think it is perfect for what we want. Yeah, it really is. And if the weather's like it is today. Yeah. Hello everyone, it's Monday. It's just gone four o'clock and I've just got home from work. Um, I'm mis mish mashing two vlogs together again the way I like to do sometimes. Um, I know that I haven't been around much the last couple of days and I just wanted to sit down and chat to you about why. Um, the best way to follow my life in like real time is by following me on Instagram if you are interested in that. So my Instagram handle is Chloe S. Murray and um, yeah, it's always in the description of my videos as well, but that's the best way to sort of see things as they happen. Um, but the main reason I haven't been around is actually because I have been so sick. Um, my medication that I now take, my, my tablets that they've put me on for my Crohn's, um, they give me nausea like nobody's business. It is so bad. Um, yesterday I just couldn't even get out of bed for hours. It was so bad. I don't know how women who are pregnant with morning sickness do it because I don't, I cannot imagine feeling like that every day and having to get up and out of bed and go to work and get on with stuff or look after other children or whatever every day. 
and I was dreading this morning thinking there's no way I'm going to be able to go to work um, but thankfully the sickness wasn't so bad today so hopefully that's you know fingers crossed that the medication is starting to settle now that I've been taking it for a week um, anyway we have had a very exciting weekend on Saturday we penciled in our wedding venue so we picked the venue we fell in love with it and we penciled it in for um, a weekend next August which is a bit of a change from spring 2021 but there were lots of reasons why we wanted to get married next year it was mainly me to be honest I don't think Will really minded too much but there were lots of personal reasons why I wanted to get married next year so I talked it all through with Will and he was like yeah it does make sense um, and I won't bore you with all the reasons here but we also looked at our finances and sort of looked at a budget and decided that we could afford to get married next year but we just wouldn't really be able to do anything else with the house um, and we're planning on staying in the house for a number of years anyway not a long long time but we're not planning on moving anytime soon so it didn't matter so much if things sort of come to a standstill for a little while but, um yeah so we went to look at this venue and we just fell in love with it and we booked it um and then this morning i had to call the registrar to confirm that they could do that date and they couldn't <laughs> so we've moved it to a Friday rather than a Saturday which is fine because we actually wanted a Friday in the beginning we preferred a Friday because it means that we'll have the weekend together afterwards without having to rush back to work so hi Archie uh, so yeah we are very very excited we have chosen our venue we've picked our date and um, it's all systems go now because it's so close. It's only about 10 months away. I have to start wedding dress shopping because a lot of them take six to seven months to even come in when you order them. So I've booked wedding dress appointments for next Saturday, which I, well, this Saturday, which I'm excited about, but so nervous about as well. Um, and this week is also dissertation hand in week. So as soon as I finish chatting to you guys, I'm gonna jump onto my laptop and try and get some work done. It's just all those last tweaks now, but um, yeah, I'm hoping to hand, have it handed in by Friday, which is just crazy. So, yeah. I'm gonna drink my tea, of course, in my Mrs. Peter B mug, and I'm going to um, get on with some work. Oh, and also I asked my first bridesmaid yesterday to be my bridesmaid because she is going on holiday. It's my brother's girlfriend, Ella. She's going on holiday for a month and I didn't want her to go away on holiday and see me asking the rest of my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids and think that I wasn't going to ask her. So I got in there quick and asked her and then it was on social media. So now I'm worried that the other girls that I'm going to ask think that I'm not going to ask them. So I need to just hurry up and ask everyone so that we can start getting like ideas for bridesmaids dresses and stuff and yeah but anyway I'm very excited I'm getting married next August I haven't decided how much I'm going to share yet um I probably will share the date but maybe not like the name of the venue if people are local they might know it anyway but it just takes one person to overstep the mark and I don't I just don't know how comfortable I am about sharing where I'm going to be on what date on such a big day of my life so I probably will end up sharing the date, but I don't think I'll share the name of the venue or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Morning everyone, it's Wednesday. I really haven't been filming very much because I am really struggling with nausea. This jumper probably wasn't a good choice either because it comes right up to my neck and it is not helping with the fact that I feel so sick. But it's Wednesday, it's the middle of the week. I managed to get lots done with my dissertation yesterday in terms of formatting it and things. And I'm so close now to being able to print it out, so I'm hoping to get it finished entirely tonight, but we'll see. And by the end of the week, I should be free. I'm so excited. Um, this has been a long time coming. Um, we also sorted out some more wedding stuff yesterday, which I'm sure I'll fill you in, in, fill you in on at some point. But I'm off to work now before I start feeling too sick to leave. <laughs> Hi everyone, so it is quarter to four on Thursday the 26th of September 2019 and I have just officially finished my dissertation. It's done. Complete. 
finito, it's done. I don't even care if it's not good <laughs> anymore, it's done. And I'm now gonna rush off to uni and try and get it printed and bound by half five before Reaper Graphics closes. Um, it's done, it's done, it's actually done. <laughs> Right guys, excuse the mess in the background. The house is an absolute disaster this week because I have been focusing on getting this dissertation done. But today's the day, it's hand in day. Yesterday you saw me get it printed. I could not get it bound because Reaper Graphics closed early, which is really helpful. Um, but I'm having to go back to get it bound today and submit it today instead, but it's fine. Um, I'm about to head over to my mum's. I think she's going to come with me for one of my last ever times on campus and I'm very excited. Also kind of apprehensive. Just can't believe that this day is here after two years, but it is and it's crazy. So there we go. My dissertation is in that folder. Got a bag full of library books because they need to go back as well. And I am about to head off. Don't get marked on a submission <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you. Have a great weekend. Hello everyone, it's Tuesday the 1st of October. I've already cracked out the festive tartan because it's autumn um, and it's 20 past two. I've just got home from lunch with a friend and her little boy, which was really nice. Um, and I thought I would just carry on with this vlog because I know it already had two weeks in it, but it was less than half an hour long. And even though it was like a big, week or big fortnight with like booking the wedding and handing in my dissertation and stuff I just felt like um I didn't really have much of substance it was basically just me talking in this exact spot which is ironic because I'm now just talking in this exact spot again but um I just thought I would carry on with it anyway and plus I was honestly just too tired to get it edited and uploaded in time to go up on the weekend um and I kind of want to get my master's degree experience video filmed and put up for tomorrow and then this one can go up next weekend anyway i'm rambling already so i thought i would just quickly fill you in on the weekend because i didn't film um so i handed my dissertation in on the friday which was just amazing it is such a weight off to not have it um unfortunately i kind of just crashed straight away afterwards so by monday i had come down with a cold and you can probably hear it in my voice it's I'm not feeling dreadful yet but I cannot stop sneezing and I know that it's going to be one of those ones that's really irritating I think um so I'm cracking out the multivitamins even more so than usual and hoping that they will sort me out um I should get some of that first defense stuff because apparently it's really good but I just always forget to buy it anyway I've not been feeling very well in general um I think it's sort of like weaning off the injections and going on to the new medication and everything it's just all a bit confusing for my body I think but um I'll be fine um but I handed my dissertation in on the Friday anyway which was amazing it's definitely not as strong as it could have been but I don't care because after everything that I've been through over the last 18 months just to have it handed in on time is amazing so that's done it's submitted and complete um I don't find out my grade until December but as soon as I know how I did I will of course let you guys know um, so then on Saturday I went wedding dress shopping with my mum and one of my bridesmaids, Ella, and my maid of honour, Lucy, who I can now share all of that in a video because all of my bridesmaids have now been officially asked whether they would like to be bridesmaid or not. The only one I haven't been able to give the proper little card to is Daisy because I just don't know when I'm going to see her, but she knows that I want her to be a bridesmaid so I can talk openly about it in videos now. But anyway, so we went bridesmaid shop uh, wedding dress shopping and unfortunately it didn't go very well i'll put a few snippets of a few dresses in because none of these are the dress um it didn't go particularly well i really didn't like how i looked in anything i tried on lots of different styles and i just wasn't happy with any of them i felt so gross and none of it really is to do with the dresses like they were all beautiful dresses um but i 
just don't like how I looked in them. So I'm back on the healthy eating, I'm back on the exercising as of this week, not to try and lose loads of weight, but just to give myself that boost and to feel better about myself again, because I always have much, much higher self-confidence when I'm exercising and when I am eating well, even if I don't actually lose any weight. Um, and I feel like that might give me a little bit more confidence when I'm dress shopping because I really was upset. Like I left the last appointment without even trying on any dresses and I left the other two in tears. So it wasn't particularly um, successful to be honest. But these things happen, I'm sure it'll be fine. I will find a dress, it might just take a bit longer than I was hoping. And like I said, it is now Tuesday and I'm about to sit down with my bullet journal and plan out October because I haven't had a chance to do that yet. I know it's been a really long time since I did a bullet journal video, but I just felt like they were a little bit samey because I've just got a system now that I stick to every month. Um, so maybe if I change my system at some point, I'll go back to doing those monthly. Um, if you have any specific bullet journal related video requests, let me know because I do love my bullet journal. Hello everyone, sorry about my glasses marks <laughs> and my rained on hair. I've had my glasses on all day and I've been rained on. Um, I've also not really been around this week. I've been poorly. Um, I've had this horrible stinking cold all week um, and I've just not really felt like doing much and like even my eyesight is just not right. Like I just don't feel right at all. So what I would like to do is sleep all weekend and try and get better. Um, but I don't actually know what I'm going to get up to this weekend. I was meant to be in Disneyland Paris. I was meant to be heading to London right now to go to Disneyland Paris on the Eurostar, but unfortunately that was cancelled because of um, our trip to New York, which is fantastic and amazing, but I am also really disappointed that I'm not going to be in Disneyland as well. Um, but you win some, you lose some. I couldn't afford to do both, and obviously Will booked us this lovely trip to New York, so I'm going to go to New York. Um, but it doesn't mean I'm not allowed to be disappointed because I am disappointed. Um, Disneyland at Halloween just looks amazing and I wanted to go last year and I couldn't go last year so I wanted to go this year and now I can't go this year either even though I've already paid for the Eurostar but like I say these things happen. I am feeling very autumnal today. I've got my jumper dress on, I've got brown boots, my brown bag, my tartan scarf. I'm feeling very autumnal. Um, I'm gonna head home now. I normally would see my mum on a Friday, but my brother has a hospital appointment um, Plus I'm full of cold and I don't want to get any of them sick <laughs> um, So I don't know what I'm gonna get up to. I'm so tired I feel like I might actually just go home and have a nap, but we'll see I just got home. I got into my pajamas and I'm about to make a hot chocolate. I've lit a candle I'm in full autumn winter mode right now, um, but I had a parcel from Hey Little Magpie. I treated myself to a few bits with uh, my first month's Patreon earnings since being back, um, and I wanted a little bit of a re like a refresh in my craft supplies. There were a few Halloween bits and a few Christmas bits that I wanted to pick up. So I thought I would quickly show you what I got um, rather than filming a proper haul video because there isn't really that much here. So I spotted this collection from Ellie's studio which is called Magical Memories and that wood veneer is stuck. Um, and they are Disney World themed or Disneyland themed. So there's the wood veneer here. We've got a picture perfect meeting a princess, a dream come true at the castle and so very lovely. There's a heart, a wand and obviously the castle. Then we've got some of their word stickers and Ellie Studio I find really reasonably priced. So we have all of these word stickers and this was £1.50 and again they're all like theme park Disney themed. Then I got the pack of die cuts and journaling cards. So again, favourite character, happiest place on earth, my oh my what a wonderful day, let's do that again at the castle. So they are like Disney themed. And I'll show you the back. 
which has all of the bits in here. So you've got all those die cuts and then you've got all these cards as well. And obviously there's one with like the castle on. That castle to me looks more like the Disneyland California castle, but that's fine, I don't really mind. Um, and I always need new journal cards in my collection. I got some enamel dots because I've almost entirely run out of enamel dots. These ones are the home for the holidays ones, but I thought these colors would work for lots of different themes by Pink Fresh. Oh, I got a surprise free gift from Ellie Studio. Some strange black circle embellishments. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much, but I'm not sure what I'll do with those. Um, I picked up some Journal Studio puppy stickers because these were in the sale for about two pounds. Thought they were cute, very versatile. I got the Blitzen thickers. These are all puffy Christmas sayings. Love those. Cute. Then I got the Magical Memories uh, puffy stickers from Ellie Studio. Again, all Disney themed kind of. So this first one is Pebbles, Merry Little Christmas, Counting Down, and it's like an advent calendar. And I thought this would be really cute um, in the like beginning of my December section of my Project Life album for this year or last year, because like I say, I haven't finished scrapbooking last year. And if you wanted to, you could put this onto something else, like back this card on another piece of card and cut these out and actually make a little advent calendar. That would be cute. And then on the back, it's just like a winter floral. Then I've got Full Market Pumpkin Patch by Carter Bella, which is pumpkins. I love it. And then on the back, it's that polka dot. I'm really sorry it's so dark in here. I think it's about to start raining again because it's just come over pitch black. Uh, Carter Bella Deck the Halls. It's the Christmas Market collection, but this one's called Deck the Halls, and I thought that was really cute. Then I've got Echo Park Paper Let's Party, and it's their journaling card sheet, because I thought these would be really nice to document my birthday this year. Obviously, we got engaged, so it was a super exciting day, and I want to document it. Then I got Echo Park Picture Tent from Summer Adventure, because we went camping in the summer and I thought that would be a cute one to document that trip. And then I got Echo Park Christmas or my favourite Christmas snow flurries. So I bought it for this side because I really liked the red with the snowflakes but the Christmas trees are cute on the back as well. And then every single year whatever collection it is that they do it in I buy the calendar paper that Crate Paper releases because I love these calendar cards in Project Life. I think they're so cute to separate each month. And um, every year Crate Paper release a collection that has one of these papers in and I always buy it if I find it. So on the back, it's just like a green chevron, but obviously I bought it for this side. And that was everything. So just a few little supplies to refresh my collection and um, Got some new Halloween and a few new Christmas bits and some stuff for documenting my Disney trip. So I'm happy with that. I made a little creative journal page for my design team project uh, with Lollipop Box Club. I'm working with their September kit. Those are the embellishments there. Really cute kit. The colours were perfect for all of the um, UK Planner Addicts Big Meat stuff. Um, it matched all that like watercolory goodness so I decided to make like a little collage page just of stuff from the big meat without any journaling I'll probably put some journaling on the back of this tag at some point but everything on this page um, is from the lollipop box club kit apart from the enamel dots everything else is from that kit obviously this is um, from the UK planner addicts goodie bag <laughs> that's Erin Condren but um yeah all the actual scrapbook supplies are from the kit um and i feel like i might make another page because i'm enjoying myself okay so i am now sat here with my guest list pages from my wedding planner and i've got my little save the dates that i made the other day um they're just made out of white card i just made the design on my laptop and printed it on white card hole punched the top and put some twine through it they're really not the best but they're meant to be like little mini bookmarks hence the, hence the uh, book us in 
um, and now I'm going to pop them all into envelopes and start writing people's names on them. I'm not going to address them or anything yet. Uh, most people I'll probably see in person to give the save the date to them, but um, some of them will need addressing. So I'm just going to pop them into envelopes and that's this afternoon's job now.